So guys, so guys, so guys, so guys, so guys, stamp this video right now. I'm calling it right now. My boy, Mikey Williams, the GOAT, the best high school basketball player to ever live. My boy, Mikey Williams. Mikey Williams is about to have the biggest comeback in college sports, period. I'm not talking just basketball, guys. I'm talking about football, baseball, swimming, horse riding, archery, guys. I don't care the sport in college. Mikey Williams, he's locked in. Mikey Williams, he's focused. And I absolutely cannot wait to hear this man's name called in the up and coming 2025 NBA draft. Now, where exactly he's going to get drafted, the team, the number first round, second round, we're not going to be talking about today. In this video specifically, guys, we're going to be focusing on Mikey Williams and the super team that he just formed at his newly beloved school, University of Central Florida or UCF. Guys, I have not dropped a video in like two months, man. College basketball season is approaching. We're back. Subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 35, 40K. Like the video if you guys want more. Let me know other video ideas that you guys have down below and also comment down below do you guys actually think that UCF will be making the March Madness tournament this year how many points do you guys actually see Mike Williams averaging this year and a very controversial question that I've been seeing on social media do you guys actually think that Mike Williams will be starting for this UCF basketball team I just feel like there's a lot of drama there's a lot to say about this so we're going to be diving in all this in today's video now first and foremost guys I do think this team is the Colorado of college basketball. I feel like we all want to see, you know, all these players on UCF win. There's a lot of drama. There's a lot of storylines with a ton of these players on this team. I feel like there's a lot of comeback players. I do feel like there's a lot of hype coming into this squad. I feel like there might be a lot of expectations for this team that I don't know exactly if they are going to fulfill those expectations solely because of a few things. Only because I do think there might be a few things that could hold this team back. Shout out to Top Recruits. He posts a lot of great content on Instagram and TikTok. Make sure you guys give this man a follow. But he actually made a post um, on his Instagram a few few days ago I'm gonna pop it up on the screen and he just made a post pretty much about this UCF starting lineup about the projected starting five for UCF and as you can see here he has Darius Johnson starting at the point guard position who's a senior for the team we got Mikey Williams incoming red shirt freshman Jalen Sellers who was the leading scorer for this team last season Keyshawn Hall and Mustafa um, Theon who was originally in the 2025 class I believe but he just recently reclassified to the 2024 class, finished as a 38th ranked player in the class, and now he's going to be playing for um, UCF in this up and coming season. Now, this definitely started a lot of controversy. I love the question, is Michael Williams going to be starting? And I know at first glance, you know, people are going to be like, yes, obviously it's Mikey Williams. Why would he not be starting? We know what he can do, the scoring ability, the crazy athleticism, the point guard skills that he possesses, this, that, and the third. I made this video on my channel a couple months ago, pretty much giving my initial thoughts to Mikey Williams and him, his decision to go to UCF. And I did talk about how Darius Johnson will probably be the starting point guard for this UCF team. And now Mikey Williams might be coming off the bench to start off the season, showcase what he can do, and then go into the start lineup. Now, if you want my personal opinion, I do think that this team has a lot of talented players. I really don't know if they're all going to coexist or if they can coexist to be successful individually and as of collectively. We got to break this team down. I just personally feel like there's just a lot of ball dominant guards on this team that is trying to make a name for themselves and that's also trying to make it to the league. And you kind of have to realize that somebody on this team is going to have to take a back seat. We know what Mikey Williams is trying to do. Like we know he's trying to go to the NBA. We know what Dior Johnson is trying to do, bro. He's he's trying to go to the NBA. Darius Johnson, I mean, he's six foot. I, realistically, he's probably not going to the NBA, but who knows? He might be trying to go to the NBA. Jalen Sellers, the same thing. I mean, he was a leading scorer for this team last season. Uh, average 16 points a game and a player that nobody bro it's so crazy that nobody's even talking about this kid and he's probably the best player on this team he's a transfer coming in from UTSA he goes by the name of Jordan Ivy Curry guys I'm telling you this kid right here he might be the best player on this UCF team this kid is a straight bucket electrifying as it gets he's listed as 6'3 he's probably like 6'1 or 6'2 but the scoring ability that this kid has is honestly insane I mean if you look at the numbers to what he did last season he had multiple 30 point games he had multiple 25 plus point games and these are against pretty legit schools as well he can shoot the ball well from three as well shot close to 40 percent 
um, from the field. And I feel like he's coming in for vengeance. And you got to realize all these guys are guards. All these guys are ball dominant players. Um, all these guys are scoring type players as well. So who's going to take the back seat? You know, who's going to be doing that? And if you really think about it, I really don't know if Mikey Williams is probably going to be starting initially. In my opinion, I think the starting lineup just off first glance and just off based off the players that I've seen, I really think that Jordan Ivy Curry is probably going to start at the point guard position. I just think he has a lot of experience. He's coming in as a fifth year scorer. He can pass the ball and he can score. He's just very versatile, you know, at that position. I do think that Jalen Sellers or D.R. Johnson will probably start um, at the two and the three. I just really feel like Dior Johnson, I mean, coming in averaging 30 points a game, he showcased what he can do. I do trust Dior Johnson as well as a point guard. I've seen this kid in person and what he did last year as well. He's a pretty legit, like pound for pound point guard um, that can play the point guard position who can also play the two as well. So I do see Dior Johnson definitely starting Jalen Sellers. He, he was the leading scorer for this team last season. He has the experience. He knows what he's going to be doing. And then the four and the five, I mean, that's very interchangeable. You know, you can throw Keyshawn Hall in there. I do love Mustafa Thiam there as well. They also have another underrated um, player as well. His name is Rokas Yokes. I don't even know how to, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this kid's name. I'm just pop it up on the screen but they have some pretty solid bigs that have pretty solid size as well so this team has a lot of talented players I mean I didn't even name uh JJ Taylor as well but like I said you have to really sit down and think about it who's going to take the back seat who's gonna be okay with averaging four to five points you know a game in my opinion I think out of all these guys I do think that Jalen Sellers and Mikey Williams are the two guys that are very versatile in the sense of they can play the point guard position, but they can also play the two guard position. Like Michael Williams, I think is a very good catch and shoot type player. And I really do think if Mike Williams were to accept that role, he can definitely, you know, be successful at that role. I really do think he can be pretty successful at being a catch and shoot type player. Um, but, you know, we all want to see Mike Williams with the ball in his hands. We want to see him go. We want to see him, you know, attack the basket, do what he can do. So, a lot of these guys are very similar in a sense that they're all ball dominant heavy and they're not your prototypical type of role player. You know, like all these guys last season, they all averaged like above 15 points a game, especially at the guard position. So like I said, it's just going to be very interesting to me. I really just I really just don't know, you know, how to how this season is going to go, because I do think that they have the talent. It's really just going to co come down to coaching, in my personal opinion, Um you know, at the end of the day, as far as predictions for this team, you got to realize this team is in a pretty legit um, conference. They play some pretty solid schools like Kansas Tech, uh, West Virginia, like this, this, this team is in a pretty legit conference. And I really, I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit too early because I need to see the other um, teams I need to see their players. I need to see what they're going to look like. Um, so it, it may be a little bit too early to make an actual prediction video. If you guys want that a little bit later, I'll probably do that. As far as Mikey Williams and, you know, what I think he's going to do with his stats and this and that, um, I just think it's really just going to depend on the role that he has, you know, for this team. You know, like I said, somebody's going to have to take the back seat. I really don't think he's going to be starting on this team. If he does, that's good. If he doesn't, that should be OK, too. But he just has to be OK with that. Understand the decision that he made at the end of the day to go to UCF you know, with all these different types of players on this team. I know some of these guys weren't on there when he initially had committed to the team, but, you know, Mike Williams is an attraction, and that's why a lot of these guys went there, to to get the notoriety, to have the spotlight on the team, showcase what they can do. Hopefully they don't take too much from Mikey and all these guys eat. They're really all going to have to look at this as a collective, really excel in the role that they're given on this team, and I think they're all going to be successful, but... You know, that's neither here nor there. We all have to wait um, and see. But you watching this video, guys, let me know down below. What do you think about this UCF team? Do you guys think this team is legit? Do you think this team is too guard heavy? Do they have too many guards to where it's going to, you know, kind of start a little bit of drama about who should be starting this, this and that? Um, like I said, somebody's going to have to take the back seat. So it's going to be interesting to see who does. But like I said, this team is very talented. So I think they'll be just fine. <laughs>